Hi, this is Frank here with Die Hard RC Addicts, and today I just wanted to share with you a quick add-on I did to my mini uh, 250 size quadcopter. I added some LED lights onto the bottom. These LED lights actually have a low voltage indicator on here too, so they should start blinking when the battery gets down to uh, shutdown voltage, so it'll tell me when to bring it in when the voltage is safe. So let's go ahead and get this in the air and uh, see how it does. It's a little bit windy out today, and you got bright sunlight, so I wanted to see how bright these LEDs are actually in the sunlight. They look like they show up pretty good. Uh, how are they looking on the camera, Paul? Um, you can see them. They're not super bright on the camera, but you can, they're visible. The reason why I wanted to get the LED lights is this quad is pretty small, and at distance it is kind of hard to tell orientation, so I thought these lights would probably help out. Yeah, we've got some pretty good wind going today. Oh, sorry about the hit sun there, Paul. I'm good. Let's take it up a little bit higher. Yeah, it definitely helps when you're up high. Can you still see it, Paul? Not zoomed out, but zoomed in. You can. Yeah, that one gets small fast. That's totally zoomed It's definitely in. windier up there. I can feel it shaking the quad around. Yeah, you can definitely see the lights on there. That helps a lot with the orientation, especially at distance like that. Normally if I fly that far away, it's getting hard to tell which way it's going. What's cool is uh, they're facing down, but you can still see them from the side as well. Okay, guys, I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. On the bottom of the clock, whoa, the wind is gusting pretty good. <laughs> There's a little control board, and it actually has a button on there. You can either set the LEDs to solid, like I have them now, or slow blinking. And when the, low, when it gets, the voltage gets lower, they'll start blinking faster. And there's actually also a little uh, horn on there that'll make a sound. Oh, see the blinking now. You can't really hear the, the horn too much, though. No, I can't hear the horn at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I may actually just go ahead and take that off. I'm going to go ahead and land it since it's already low voltage. You can kind of hear it there. Can you hear it, Paul? Hear the beep a little bit. Yeah, I think it's stopped now. Yeah, let me go ahead and get it unplugged. Okay, guys, we've got it all unplugged. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way these work. They're nice and bright, and I can see them really well. Um, like I was saying, it's got a little control board on the bottom, and if you push the button, you can set it to a blinking mode where it'll blink every couple seconds. And then when it hits low voltage, it'll blink faster. And the little horn thing on here, it's not really loud, so I don't know. I may just go ahead and take that off. Um, the visual is good enough for me. I can barely hear it. I don't know. Could you hear it, Paul, when I it was beeping? I couldn't hear it when it was running. Yeah, these motors are pretty noisy, so... Um, and it's only running off of the first two cells off of the battery uh, balance charger port. Um, so it's only monitoring two of the cells. But I checked, I ran a couple batteries with it, and it wasn't really drawing a whole lot of power off of there. So it wasn't setting the balance off by too much. So it works pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Um, some people may be thinking that, you know, it'd be better if it plugged into all three, but I don't see a problem with it. It does what it's supposed to. And if you're going to balance charge your batteries anyway, it'll bring all the voltages up to where they need to be. 
So I think it's a pretty cool little add-on. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys a little update. I will be getting more equipment from uh, VainGood.com also to put on this quadcopter. They're going to be sending me some FPV equipment. And I also got a new control board coming. I got an APM uh, 3.1, the mini size one with the GPS. So stay tuned for that, guys. And that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching Die Hard RCX, and I'll see you again next time.